I'm obsessed with unusual uses for everyday things. So you guys, I'm always Googling and emailing them to my producers. So I found one of the best sources for hacks in your own kitchen. And here with a list of unusual uses for culinary items is Brooke Van Poppelen of Hack My Life on True TV. <laughs> Now, like everybody else in the audience, she agreed to bring her lipstick with her. So, may I see your lipstick? Yes, you may. And Here you want you, a, you want an honest oh, yep. appraisal? Honest appraisal. Oh my what goodness! What does that mean? See how flat that is? Yep. You know what that means? High morals. That's right. About, everybody. Have dependable, quick-witted, quick-minded. Love a challenge. I do. Does that sound accurate to you? Uh, yeah, I think this segment is going to be challenging and rewarding. All how, at how about once. the high morals part? Was that I, accurate? Absolutely. I was raised by two good people. Okay, are they here? <laughs> they might be. Yeah, they might be, we'll find that in a moment. All right, so I know you're just obsessed as I am about all kinds of hacks, yes. so what makes a good hack? What defines it for you? Absolutely, uh, a good hack is something that saves time and money. Um, one of my favorites is a double use for something you already have in your home. It doesn't cost you anymore. Doesn't cost you Coming anymore. Over here. Okay. These are a list of some of the unusual items with unusual uses. So, slices of bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like we, we're not supposed to eat those anymore, so let's find a different use. What, a rolling pin? Rolling pin, yes. You know, not just for angry housewives to beat their husbands <laughs> over the head with, yeah. Right. What else do you have? <laughs> well, to-go condiment packets, it might look like you don't have your life together, so, you know, a lot of takeout, but we've got another use for that. Okay, and finally, paper towel holders. I know, you know, I, my parents actually didn't have one. I, like, got after them. They kept shoving it in a drawer underneath every time. I was like, oh my God, you need a paper towel holder. And now there's another use for it. Parents, oh. Parents are the worst. Now they're incorrigible. All right, you're gonna go through these one by one. We're gonna start with a slice of bread. Now you argue, this has many potential uses. Yes. And I, what, what's this glass? Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, oh. you're so very clumsy, Dr. Oz. No. Turns out you can use a piece of bread to pick up broken glass. Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence. That, that was wonderful theatrics. Were you fooled? That was so good. Was that, that done? Was so done? Good. Did I look klutzy <laughs> for a surgeon? All right, so how do you do this? All right. So, I mean, first of all, you know, we all know to be very careful. I'm the kind of person who I'm not afraid to pick up some of the bigger pieces, so I'm going to move these out of the way. But, and, you know what? I just stepped on some broken glass. I, I knock over wine glasses oh. a lot, usually after I've had a few, et cetera, et cetera. What about that high-minded stuff we talked about earlier? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. Well, high morals. Let's get back on the high road. So all these pesky little tiny shards that you can end up stepping on, you can use a piece of bread to gently mop up and pick up. It's very spongy. Does it really and work? You can get, yeah, you can get in there. And it gives you a protective layer so that your hand. Oh my goodness, look at that. Either. Yep. You see the piece of, of, of glass there? Right. It's a wonderful idea. Just go make a sandwich. No, 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 no sandwiches. sandwiches after <laughs> that. No, no, no. All right, yeah. that's a good one. I like that. And again, we, it's your rules. We already have it in the house. It's available yes. if you're still buying bread. All right, rolling pin, what's this for? Um, so if you've got a rolling pin at home, great. You can use it for cookies, whatever you want. But if you've also got a tense back, shoulders, etc., this is a great tool for rolling out. Tight muscles, may, may I? Yeah, may I like do the it. honors? Oh, I oh, wanted to do good. this. Oh, Whoa. Oh. Yeah? But okay. There's someone else, okay. someone else I know after hearing all this conversation with yeah. your lipstick who probably is very tense. Yes, Special probably, because this was on her bucket list, not mine. It was? Roll you out, so. Let's go hit your mom. We have mom <laughs> over here. All right. Yes, Yay. Come on over, mom. Hi, mom. Was it really on your bucket list? <laughs> bucket list was get a nice massage. <laughs> I know. See, I, my mom's uh, been a nurse for 35 years. She takes care of a lot of other people. Well, God bless you, so, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah, okay, you hold her up. Get out of right. my way. Yeah. I'm trying to help a nurse here. I'm trying to help a nurse, a real healer. Okay. Awesome. Is that good? She's been picking on you, Mom. She has been. You, ra you raised a good daughter. You should be very proud of her. It's a gift from the show. It's the, literally the least we could do. All right. Okay. All right. It's so, a gift. Next on the list are yes. condiment packets. Yes. I, again, I must say, these are usually things that I toss. Never thought right. about them, but mm -hmm. you have a unique use, and you actually put them in the freezer. Yeah, that is your first step, is to take those ketchup and soy sauce packets, pop them in the freezer, let them get nice and frosty. First of all, if you wake up and have huffy eyes, these are nice and eyeball size, so you could put them uh, directly on and oh my goodness. cool off. There you go. It's cold. Oh, I mean, it's under your eyes, not under on your eyes. eyes. On. I don't know. Yes. I always look perfect when I wake up. That's right. Does it, does it really work? It, it does help in a pinch. Another better use for this, though, is if you... I, I'm not going to get away with that. I, I'm always suspect of these beauty tips. So I asked a member of the audience, Marie, oh, okay. to join us. Marie, come on in. Okay. Hi. Now Marie road tested this at home. First of all, did you like the hack? Did it make sense to you? Yes, it did make sense. At first, I was like, hmm, 
who would think of something like that? Because I wouldn't, but I had a whole drawer full of all these condiments. I said, you know what? Let me try it. So I put hot sauce, I mean, it's not recommended, <laughs> but uh, I put the hot sauce packets in the freezer. It took about 15 minutes to freeze. And then I laid down, put them under my eyes for about five minutes. And so here's it before you, here's the before. There's a before picture and there's an after. <laughs> this after five minutes? Yes. That's quick. That looks fantastic. Right. <laughs> now I interrupted you. You were going to say that no. you use it for kids also? Yeah, you know, another great use for this, aside from our beauty regimen, et cetera, is if you've got children and say they, you know, have a little scrape, a sprained wrist, ankle, finger, this is kid-sized. You can put it on the affected area because the giant normal-sized ice packs, it's too much. It's yeah. too cold for them. And this is child-sized. Perfect. These are yeah. wonderful. Mom, since you're a nurse here. These are for, there you go, more. <laughs> for, for grandchildren, for grandchildren. All right. All right, All right. right. now, this last one you're going to like, and you, can, you don't have to even test this. We're going to just let you be part of this. This is uh, an idea that I think is pretty unique. will help a lot of folks with that cluttering issue we were talking about earlier, paper towel holders. Oh, my gosh, yes. This is great for decluttering. I mean, first of all, it's great for the intended purpose, but if you've got an extra one lying around, let's take this off here and move it aside. It's great Put for... Put it here. Yeah, in there, perfect. It's great for organizing belts, you know, bigger uh, accessories you have in your collection, and you can just do something different than what I do at home, which is put them on a nail or a hanger, which looks awful. And now you've got nice and organized, if you want to finish that, oh, wow. knock yourself out. You've got a great way to keep your jewelry organized, which you guys were talking earlier, like when you get a nice visual. Yeah. It's artistic, I mm -hmm. like it. Yeah. Thank you very You're much. Very Wonderful welcome. advice, thank you. Thank thank you. So Listen, much. my daughter's gonna love this, yours will too, share it with everyone you know. Such a blast finding unusual uses for foil. By the way, that went viral, which I really like because people were using it and helping them make their lives better, made me happy. But I thought I'd experiment with foil's cousin. You know who foil's cousin is? So smart, wax paper. I wanted to see the clever ways you could use wax paper. So I sent a roll of it across the country and asked you to pass it along in your favorite ways to rock this roll. I'm Tiffany Rose from New York. I use wax paper to stop microwave splatter. Messy microwaves are the worst. Put a sheet of wax paper over your food to stop the splatter. Hi, Dr. Oz. I'm Courtney from Pennsylvania, and I use wax paper to clean a can opener. All you have to do is run the paper through the gears. I'm Amanda from Pennsylvania, and I use wax paper to keep wooden salad bowls in great shape. After washing and drying the bowls, reel them up by rubbing the bowl with wax paper. Hi, Dr. Oz. I'm Donna from Rhode Island. I use wax paper to recork a wine bottle. Hi, I'm Michelle Vaughn from Illinois, and I use wax paper to rescue a wet book. Just place pieces of wax paper between the damaged pages and close the book. The wax paper wicks away the moisture and prevents wrinkling. Thank you very much. So I use wax paper for a no mess spice refill. My family loves to cook with herbs, so we're always refilling it. Brooke Van Poppelen from Hack My Life wouldn't leave. <laughs> no, sorry. But she has a hack to give you as well. So let's, let's do mine first, and we can do yours. Great. All right, so you have to help me. Take all wax right. paper. All right. Are you a good cutter? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. About this size? About, yeah. About, about, right. Cut it the right size. Do we want two of them? One for you, yes. one for me? I, okay. I pre-cut mine because I'm prepared. Surgeons are always prepared. So what you do with the wax paper. Oh, oh. There we go. Okay. So you take the wax paper, and you're going to funnel it. So you're gonna wrap it like this, gently, mm. gently. And the nice thing about wax paper is that nothing sticks to it. So you can create oh, a funnel yeah. and put spices in there. So you can put flowers in there or anything else you wanna do. But there it is, let it expand a little bit. That's great. Right. Then take your spices. We use this because in Oz house we got spices all the time and we have bigger jars that have them. So you can pour it into a nice little dainty jar like this. Mm. See, if you spill a little bit, no one cares in my household. Then you let go like that. You see them all come out and you're done. I'm faster right. than you are, by More the way. faster than me. Yes, uh, salt, pepper, everything works. No mess, no waste. 
You're very neat, by the way. Okay, what's your hack? Top, top that hack. All right, this hack. Okay, with your wax paper, do you ever get a zipper stuck on your jacket, a dress, on your jeans? On all kinds of things, yes. On all sorts of things. Yes. So you can take a piece of wax it hurts. paper. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> you can take a piece of wax paper and you can actually wax the teeth or the track on the zipper and it oh. loads it up so it'll come loose and start sliding back up and down again. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.